Welcome back to Team Fat Kid. Choose the fat. <laughs> Dude, damn. All right, this is Jason. This is Alex. <laughs> this is Dooley. This is Chase. Ugh. We're off to a great start this is here. perfect. You'd think I've been drinking all day. I don't think I know. I have uh, been, though. <laughs> I've been drinking water. You actually, yeah, you kind of <laughs> have been. <laughs> All right, so uh, so far, uh, well, Chase is here, and Chase brought us a present. <coughs> Chase, I guess my present was a uh, bottle of Glen um single malt scotch. I don't think I've had this one. It was, um, I think, it was ten years. Yeah, ten year. Yeah, it's ten. Remember, I'm not allowed to have scotch that often. Neither am I. Ten years, single it's got malt. Got a lot of vanilla. In Highland it. single malt. Is there yeah. a lowland? <laughs> no, Just I curious. Did. The Scottish lowlands. All right, so Dooley, take a zip. Fun stuff. I picked up a lot of vanilla. No, look, it says vanilla on the damn bottle. <laughs> look at you. Uh, yeah. honey, picking out, honey. picking out notes. At least you actually taste it, though. Uh, like, yeah, right. You didn't even have to look for it. The honeyed sweetness with notes of citrus, almonds, and creamy vanilla, for a rounded complexity and enticing smoothness. And I year after year, experts have honored our whiskey with a host of prestigious awards. The vanilla and almondy flavor I can definitely get. It's it's pretty good stuff. Um, it's actually like it. Goes down pretty easy too. Ten out of ten. I mean, I like it. Sketchy. <laughs> ten, ten out of ten. ten. That's that's the team factor prestigious award. <laughs> <laughs> ten out of ten. I like it. Tastes good. All right. So uh, today we did uh, we did finish um, quite I mean, a few we, things. We, we we were talking about them on Monday because this here being Thursday, <laughs> we uh, uh we did the bacon stuffed bacon dip stuffed bacon wrapped pork chop that was deep fried yes and it came out spectacular that one, that one worked it. out really well and um, you can check that out on our facebook page <laughs> the first one came out uh the, the stuffing kind of exploded a little bit a but little bit. We, we did do a second round that worked out much better i think uh, i think making them smaller helped out better. a little yeah, bit it worked better um what else did we do? We did the uh, uh, spaghetti and meatballs. Spaghetti in meatballs, <laughs> by the way, guys. Uh, it was a spaghetti and meatball mix with mozzarella cheese in the middle. <clears throat> yep. Uh, that that turned out pretty good. Texturally, Texturally kind I, of I, I, it was different. Very interesting. I like I like the different. Like the like, crunchy pasta on the outside and with it's like, like the, the regular cooked pasta on the inside. It was it was different. It was different. It was good. It was different, but. I, I don't remember if you guys said it on the video, but did the mozzarella start coming through more once y'all added more pearls? I don't recall. I don't think it did. The Parmesan so I, still kind of... Yeah, the Parmesan that we added into the meat mix. mixture uh, definitely came through much better. More pronounced. So the Parmesan pretty much won the battle between... Like, taste-wise, the, the Parmesan came uh, through. You got, it, like, that melty, like, gooeyness. The, the one bite that I did have so far was just, like, the corner... So it was just noodle. Yeah, uh, I mean, was it all noodly? Noodly, all the noodles. noodles. Uh, noodly. I mean, so we did not do the haggis. We we're gonna hang on to that one. We'll, for, we'll save that for next Monday. Uh, this we did. Coming. We did eat a lot of sauces. We did. Yeah, we did try a lot of sauces with some steak, some chicken, and uh, we, ironically, we didn't do pork. We, we meant to do pork, but we just got caught up with the uh, oh, hell yeah, pork we stuff. Didn't, yeah, pork. we didn't do pork. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, hey, it is it is what it is. Uh, we, we still got to try a lot of sauces. I think we did 12 in total. Um, I believe the winner for the steak was the jalapeno ranch, which is kind of not what I expected. But the winner for the eh. chicken, uh, the winner for the chicken was what, the mango habanero? Yeah, the mango habanero, yeah. uh, which was, you know, that sweet heat. It definitely had some heat on it. It's so. got some kick on the back what end. What sauce yeah. was the one that was in between the habanero and the mustardy one? Yeah. No, on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> it's throwing stuff out there. Uh, on the one. other side? Yeah, it was like greenish with uh, like, <gasps> it looked almost like, I, I'm going to say li- the like lemon. basil or like That might have been the garlic like, parm. Was that was definitely farm? the garlic farm. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Didn't even get, like, no Good garlic job, out of that. Really. That wasn't that great. And, again, I don't know why people make garlic farm into a sauce. Put garlic and parmesan on your wings. 
Anyway, it, 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 supposedly it it's one of the best flavors out in the world right now. Yeah, people other do than love like it. lemon pepper. I will say that people do yeah. love it. Lemon pepper. Yeah. yeah, the same thing. The same thing about lemon pepper. Use lemon and pepper. <laughs> Don't buy the damn mix. It's garbage. It's all garbage. Like, Every one of them tastes exactly the same. They all taste fake. <laughs> it's like zest the damn lemon. Yeah, but I mean, it's not. It's not like fake, like cough syrup, cherry fake. You know what I mean? Like, it's uh, not that okay, bad. I mean, fake banana tastes better than real bananas. Well, you have a point there. <laughs> it's like so. You like the fake, the fake lemon just doesn't do it for me. And I think if you're gonna do anything lemon pepper, use the lemon and use pepper. The those are bad. <laughs> like the whole crew just rode, rolled up on the block. I don't know what the boat name is. Fish sauce. <laughs> Does uh, that count as a condiment? Actually, that is a condiment. <laughs> fish sauce is a condiment. Anyway, All I'm right, sure so you have some topics. I do, I do, I do, I do. Um, I now I got to remember which ones we didn't do. All right, so here's some fun stuff, and we can talk about this. Uh, I think we all have a lot of um, area in this. Um, how about uh. When you're building a kitchen staff and you are um, looking at the qualities of people, what are some of the things that you're looking for Like when, you, when you're hiring like a uh, line level like cook? Basic knowledge of food. Attentiveness. And how to prepare it. Like. Attentiveness and willing to learn. <clears throat> not, that I, not that I've been a manager on a line or anything, but just like going from a shop standpoint or just manager, managerial standpoint. Like I, I, you know, I, I mean, you should have. I think it's a starting point at least. You should be able to make to toast. <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> that is very true. Very true. And eggs. Yeah, you should. You should be able to toast a bun without burning it. Like it's 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 a it's a very easy thing. I right. mean, maybe maybe I overlook it. Maybe it's not that easy to make toast. I mean, I've been doing it a really long time. Like I don't know since I was like fucking five years old. Like <laughs> in the toaster, but. People still burn bread all the time, Dooley. I was about to say shut up. Yeah, I mean, yeah. there's, there's people in toasters that just they don't well, know how to operate a toaster either. Well, there's, they there's, put that shit on like six to ten. Like, uh, all right, uh, burnt. Did I tell you guys the story about the guy looking at the toaster and asked me if it was a microwave? Oh, God. oh my what? God. <laughs> this sounds like a blonde joke in the making. Well, um, go ahead. Uh, so I'm walking down the line, and he he does he is not a cook. Okay, um, first off, let's clear that up. And he's looking, like, because Dooley told him he wanted to heat up some food, and Dooley told him to put it in the microwave over It's like, the microwave's over there. And the guy walks over there, and he's, like, got a to-go box in I, his hand. I specifically even told him it's next to the sink. What kind of food was like, it? I have no idea. I think it was a cheeseburger. Yeah, yeah like, the sink the for the lines over here, and then the microwave's, like, a foot away from it. But I, I walk him, walk him past him, and I see him hunched over. And, like, it's it's not, like, your home toaster, okay? It's, like, the conveyor belt industrial toaster. Okay. And he's looking in the hole. <laughs> First off, it's got a conveyor belt. At what point do you think this is a microwave? There's, like, no door. <laughs> like, you ever see a microwave How do you set the timer, door? bro? So he's, like, hunched over with this box about to shove it into a toaster. And I was like, what are you doing? And he's like, is this the microwave? And I looked at him. I was like, that's a fucking toaster, bro. I was like, turn around. And, like, the microwave is literally behind you. <laughs> like, it's, you don't know what a microwave looks like. Like, d- even, like, a com- like, for a restaurant or anything like that, we, you still use the regular household type of microwave. Like, you don't just, oh, we have this m- fucking huge-ass fucking microwave or anything that looks like a fucking toaster. Like, no. What? Uh, I'll say it's an industrial microwave, but they all look the same. It still looks like a microwave. Yeah. It's like... Shit, I looked at the fucking um, manufacturer date on the microwave that we have at work in 1999. Like, <laughs> it still works. Hey, yeah. <laughs> like, it's still the same shit, but. Okay, so qualities to look for in cooks. I yeah, guess it really cooks. depends on what position you're applying for, though. Like, I mean, I think, okay. Very valid point. When We'll go back to, like, when, we, when you're moving a cook from dish to say fry. Okay. I'm not expecting you to know a whole lot. No. Like especially if it's your first restaurant that you worked in. Yeah, and like your first time, I mean, you could have worked in many restaurants as a dishwasher, that doesn't make you a cook. Like so when you're moving someone from dish to the line, like and 
like we've talked about this in the past, you kind of screw yourself because you're taking like probably your best dishwasher, dishwasher. and moving him yeah. to cook to appease and keep them happy and like you know. That's why you huh? want to push me up the line at the other place. And so, like, what qualities are you looking at in a dishwasher, I guess, is a good question. Like, when you're moving a dishwasher to cook. Well, I'm, I'm kind of with Chase on this one. Like, attentiveness and willing to learn. Like, can you, can you follow directions? Can you pay attention? <clears throat> and are you willing to take the time to pay attention? I was going to say it does kind of go hand in hand with what I was saying. But especially, like, like dishwasher to fry. Like, at least have the willingness to learn or the, the motivation to want to learn. And to add on to that, sense Especially of, if you're sense of a new urgency. Position. Like, having a fucking sense of urgency. Like, oh, um, why am I waiting 45 minutes on chicken strips? <laughs> <laughs> why, am I, why am I waiting 20 well, minutes for a salad? I feel like that's something that would have to be, like, trained into them if they didn't know how the line was already operating. Uh, see, all right, yes, I mean, but they, they, they should know that things shouldn't take that long. But at the same time, you would see that when they're in dish, at the same too, time, because like, if dish well, is getting yes, fucked up. very true. Like, like, transition from dish to cook, <clears> yeah. You would understand that, but if just the server asks you never, to run silverware and it takes twenty minutes, but a problem. I'm, I'm just saying, never being in a restaurant before and then just jumping right on to as being a fry cooker or some part of the line and not understanding ticket times and how a line is operated. I could see how people it could it could fall through, but then that's when the manager is like, "Hey, man, like we got to we got to train Step you on how shit, like, like, we got go. we got to train you on ticket times. Like this is how things are supposed to be." All right, but like. But, I mean, They're I think it's I think it's harder with an office street hire, like somebody comes in, gives you an application, like Spick, speaks, uh, spits a good game. Yeah, like, like uh, had that happen. Uh, at the shop. Okay, I'm gonna do a shout out to Matt Rowe because what he told me, granted, like he was off the street and he never served a day in his life, and he comes into the place that we all used to work at, and he's like, yeah. yeah, he <laughs> lied his ass off and then became like one of the best servers that we had there at the time, and it's like. Oh, dude, I wasn't expecting to get the job at all. It's like, <laughs> well, you magically found a talent, but... <laughs> I do feel like it's different for servers and cooks, though. Yeah, like cooks, you have to make sure shit's like... Well, there's different skills involved. Yeah, I'll, a, be, I'll be honest with you, like, people <laughs> skills, you don't have to have really as a cook. I think it's... Yeah, you can be an I mean, asshole. I think it's, it's very fine. balanced between yeah. the both. Like, yeah. people skills versus cooking skills. I, I feel you know, like one or the other. They, they, they like, kind of, like, balance each other out, in a sense. No, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like, they balance each other out. Like, well, they, what the producer said is that she doesn't think that either one of those uh, are superior to the other. Right, yeah, and no, it's no. a different skill set. Like, you're attuned to a different job. But if I'm looking to hire a cook, like, you could be great at talking, but if you can't cook, it really doesn't matter. And unfortunately, a lot of the times, like, I have had people quite like Matt Rowe that came in and lied their ass off and said, yeah, I could do this and I could do that. And then you put them on the line and you're like two days in, like, no, nah, bro, you're done. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, you really can't do anything. You, you can't mm-hmm. cook. How, mm-hmm. like, Your french fries aren't done, bro. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> How long is cook for? Uh, until they're done. Yeah, I, How long is that? Get off the fucking line. Yeah, I, just, <laughs> I, I, put them I down feel like ago. confidence as a server is probably way more important than confidence as a cook. Now, don't get me wrong. I find confidence in a cook to be, like, if you're a good cook, you're probably very confident. But that means, like, you're going for grill. You're going for... Like, saute. Yeah, like, you're, 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 going, you're, going to you're not going for fry. Yeah, you're trying to move yourself up. Like, if you're if you're just coming into it, you probably don't know what you're doing. You don't have a lot of confidence. <clears> but <throat> as long as you're, like, willing to learn and can pay attention. Like, fry is not necessarily the most difficult position unless you're... In the middle of a dinner uh, rush, it could be one of yeah. the busiest positions. If you're though. if you're in the Dep- middle of a dinner rush, on like, the, the business's menu, yeah. also true. Yeah. <laughs> true. I mean, I I work in a fry like, heavy like, kitchen. Like, <laughs> I work in a fry heavy kitchen. I know that. Like, fry gets smacked. Well, and I shoot, I love working brunch with my chef because I work egg station, and he's like, I got everything else. Like, well, we know. I why. will stand there and look <laughs> down the line at him like, you need a hand. And he's like. No, I'm good. Just cook eggs. I'm like, all right. It like, goes, <laughs> goes back to, like, maybe you should learn how to cook an egg, bro. Yeah. Like, I think he knows how. So he just funny. hates it. I'm like, I, okay. All you need it to do is cook some like eggs. Like, I got seconds. you. I, still, I know. <laughs> I still ask this person, is it because you don't like eggs or is it just, like, you, you just don't like cooking them? And he still never gave me a, an actual answer. Oh, he told me he just hates cooking them. He's like, I will do everything else. And I'm like, granted, he'll get smacked on fry. I'll start working grill. But, like, I think it's hilarious. He'll have, like, 18 tickets. And I'm just like, um... 
eggs are done. You need me to drop some fries or something for you, bro? Like, uh, I got the burger on the grill. Like, the one burger to your <laughs> to your nine tickets of fry. And, and kind, like, of, kind of side note with eggs and everything like that. You remember the eggs Benedict? Yeah. That you and me did. Or I tried to do, and then you showed me how to do the fucking actual hollandaise. Yeah. I've never done that again, by the way. Oh, so. <laughs> hollandaise from scratch sucks. Oh, it's yeah, it's a lot of whiskey. Yeah. It's not fun. I made well, we made that whole entire thing from scratch, like the bread, all that stuff, type of stuff, like how we prepared it. It was like, what was it out of the little cup thing? We made the little toast point. Oh God, I know what you're talking about. It was like a muffin pan. We literally made like our own bread. We did. I oh, fuck that. Yeah. Just, just fuck that. Like, and the, uh, every, it wasn't an English muffin. Everyone, it was like a biscuit. Everyone almost. Was, was fucking ordering it too. I was like, I fucking hate this. Oh, why the fuck did I do this to myself? Like, <laughs> f- like it was good. Made, yeah, it was good as shit. It was it like just fr- sucked. We had like a little, a uh, <laughs> little sprig of uh, cilantro that we put in uh, on the top of the uh, hollandaise and everything. We put it out, and the server was like, "Oh, that looks really good. I might order it." And no, of course, you know, if a server likes it, they're gonna sell it. Oh yeah. hell yeah! Like, <clears throat> oh, it looks amazing. Hands it's, down. Yeah, like it, I, it, it's amazing. It tastes amazing, and like now they can push the product, <laughs> and you might hate making it. Yeah, so exactly. that's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I even put this on the Shouldn't menu? Shouldn't have today? made the special. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I, I remember that. It sucked. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it was it was good, but God, time, it sucked. At the same time, it was a good learning experience for me. Because I was like, okay, this is, like, I, I respect people who actually make hollandaise. Like, from, oh, on, dude. From scratch on the regular type of shit. Like, I respect the shit out of that. We man. had like, a conversation about that, like, with, like, the double boiler. And you got, the like, the uh, bowl over top where you're whisking. You move it away. And you put it back. And you're like, making holidays from scratch is no fun. Well, if you batch it out and put it in a thermos, it'll be fine for service. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, that's if you assume you're going to sell a lot. If you're trying to make, like, a couple orders because you're like, oh, this isn't going to sell that much, like, it's oh, going to yeah. be a decent brunch. We're, in, we're probably going to sell, like, 12. Like, okay. And then oh, all of a sudden, we, it's we like, have a, we have a 12 nope, top. you've got, like, 40. <laughs> like, so we got a 12 top, a 6 top, a 5 top, all the more eggs benedict. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest with you, like, the worst whiskey experience I ever had was, uh, we're way off topic of hiring qualities here, but this is, I was I'm doing uh, something about that. Valentine's Day specials, and we were making moose in large quantities, and our, uh, like, immersion blender went out. In Don't the middle of the night. Up. We're there at, like, 3 in the morning. Like, we're prepping all these specials, all these desserts, and, I mean, we're, we're making hundreds. And the immersion blender went out, and it was just like, well, we're hand-whisking. And the chef and I at the time were just passing the whisk back and forth, like, dude, I can't do it anymore. I can't do it. You take this for, like, 20 minutes each, just, like, whisking, 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 and pass it back, like, Oh, filling champagne glasses full of two different types of mousse. Like, no. but that I was I was gonna kind of bring it back. Like after that whole thing, like during the interview process, let's say you're hiring straight for like brunch, like at a hotel or just for like a brunch menu type of thing like that. Like if you're hiring them just for that, and they say they've never made like hollandaise or like the only eggs they could really do is like scrambled or an over hard or something like that, then you're kind of like. Yeah, well, Damn, we'll, we'll the, call the, you. We'll the, call the, you. The brunch we'll spot might not be for you. If I, yeah. you I gotta say though, like, <laughs> all right, making a egg is easy. Making if fifteen yeah, at one like, time, like if you're really at a good brunch spot, like it oh, gets man. hectic flat real top, quick. You can flap top that out, man. Especially when you got fifteen eggs going egg. fifteen different ways, dude. I used to work at <clears> eight burner station and run out of pans cooking eggs. Like that's why you use the flat top. It's a pan that you use continuously. The flat top's hot. The flat top had the the large hotel pan on it for poached eggs. Oh Jesus! Like, and not to mention like the breads and like there was no space on the flat top. So like, it was oh god. I, I'm glad I don't. I do, I'm, I'm glad I don't do that anymore. So, I'm like, like, so like where I'm, where I'm kind of thinking of is like you know, when you're interviewing someone for set position, fryer, grill, this on third, like, what are the like key points that you want to hear them make when you're interviewing them? Like, oh yeah, I'll give you cook for us. Well, that's cool. What else can you fucking do? <laughs> like, <laughs> I think a lot of it is like depending on like the establishment itself, um, and like. If you're a steakhouse, yeah, like you definitely want probably somebody who's worked in a steakhouse before. You yeah. know, they, like oh, I was grill at you know a national chain that sounds kind of like Australia for like six years. Like you could probably cook a steak, yeah. like, <laughs> you know. It's like, I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> like um, you know, like so like 
I think that whole thing like starts even before you even meet the person. Like if you have a specific goal for someone and you're looking at resumes, you should know before they get there if they're even qualified for the position. Well, well, I have well, a I have a great question well, I'm on saying, that. Like, you know, like add on points. Like they said this on third on the resume, but then it's like, okay, I'm specifically looking for someone that like can do a lot of these things at one time or something like that. Like that's where I'm like, like, multi, like able to multitask. <clears throat> like, is that what like, you're trying to get? Like, at? Let's say for brunch, for example, like you're making an omelet, then you have to go over here and make a fucking skillet, and then over here you got to do that. Like, yeah, and for, a cheeseburger. Yeah, <laughs> like, like you, you have all this t- type of stuff like that. Are you still able to do it? Like, I have a great question. All right, so on the topic of hiring, when you're hiring, if it's just a line cook for whatever grill, saute, fry, whatever it is, how often do you actually call references or former employers? Because like if it's I'm if it's about it. if it's a chef, I'm calling. Like well, if, if it's, it's if a, it's the head of a department or something, I'm calling. Yeah. But if it's like a line cook, like I'm gonna throw you in there and see what happens. Like yeah, it's I mean, it's chances are I'm gonna call your boss. They're not gonna pick up on the first two times. Like right. so by the time I even get a hold of him, I'm like, yeah, you start Monday. Yeah. Like he's already started. Whatever. Like, like let's get you in here. We'll see how you do. If it doesn't work out, I'll let you go. But yeah, if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. Yeah. But mm. I mean like. Also, if you say that you could do something and then you can't, it's kind of on you. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I gave I, you a yeah. shot. You didn't make it. Good luck. Well, I mean, like, for, like, let's say for, like, a finer type of establishment or, like, even just a high-volume establishment, like, for a fry cook, I wouldn't do it, no. reference-wise. But if it's, like, grill, I'd be like, yeah. I might call, like, you, you said, like, your, you know, head grill cook at uh, somewhere. <clears throat> and we saw a lot of steaks and stuff like that. Like I'm, I want to call just to make sure. It's like, how did they do? Like, are they just bullshitting or like what? A lot of times, man, they a lot can't of times answer. They can't like, answer that, man. Like all they can say is yes, they worked here, and yes or no, they are rehirable. That's, Which you can get a lot from that, though. Like, yeah. are they rehirable? No, thank you. Yep. Can like you know. that's all I needed to know. I mean that's basic. That's the basic reference check. Like that's really all you can ask. It's yeah. different. Like it's and different if you're having chef talking. You happen to know the chef. And, and, and side <laughs> note for people listening, I have never really done interviews, but I, I've seen. I've done work. quite a few. I've definitely done some reference <clears throat> calls, and I've definitely been the one that has gotten calls where people that should not have put me as a reference did. <laughs> And I got yeah. calls, and it's, it's always you, weird, right? She Legally, they're, you're limited in what you could say. Like, if they aren't good, you can't be like, yeah, they suck. Yeah, they hit you with slander, and then you're screwed. Like, uh-huh. all you can do is be like, I can't answer that, which honestly is an answer in itself. Like, were they good at their job? Do they show up on time? Like, I can't answer that. Like, that means no. I think I <laughs> think you bring up a valid point there, though. I think one of the key factors is, can you fucking show up to work on time? Yeah. yeah. Like, it's like... <laughs> Like, like you, you may be Gordon Ramsay in the mm-hmm. kitchen, but if you're if, not yeah, here, if you it doesn't matter. Up, it don't yeah. matter. Like, like it, it's it's crazy to me. Like, I mean, with people these days, like when you're we're hiring people, like we hired a dishwasher who came in, did the background check, did all the paperwork, and then okay, bud, you start on Monday, and the dude never showed up to work. No, like, he was in the office. Like I came What's in. What's the point of even doing the application? What's the point of even coming in to our office <clears throat> in to the kitchen the application. to do the whole paperwork and everything? Like it's more than an application at that point. If you're doing well, a background check and true, yeah. I mean, he did like his tax forms and everything, man. Like you are in the system, you are uh-huh. hired. Like you have like when you come in, you can clock in. Like it's <laughs> like, like we'll you just had you to show number. up. Yeah, you that was it. Show up. Like, but that's happened on more than one occasion. Like I've had interviews not show up. Like. You know, you pl- you plan an interview and they oh, just we, that's, that's, that that's, show like, that happens all the time, all the damn time. Like, I mean, you you get to the point where you're so frustrated with setting up interviews that you just hire the person that showed up, like because so many people just didn't like they you set the interview and then they just never come in. I've had five interviews this week. You're the only one that showed up. You got the job. Yeah, congratulations. Yeah, like, we have the issue all the damn time at the hotel, like. <clears throat> Bang with people, they'd be like, "Yeah, I had like seven interviews, none of them showed up." Like, uh, what so we're trying. <laughs> like, uh, I'm gonna call some more applications. Like, so now I went through the good stack, and right, none of yeah. them showed up. So now I'm uh, on the B stack. I, I went through my A list. Now my B list. <laughs> uh, I'm not. I'm gonna wait a little bit longer. Yeah, I'm we're gonna, gonna run list. another ad and like <laughs> re- recast the line and see what else we catch. Like, 
This is uh, old. I, all right, I got a I got a topic on that though. Uh, Jason, especially as a hiring manager, I mm, technically uh, I'm not a hiring manager. Okay, <laughs> fine, but you've been there. I got people that do that. I, you've been there. <laughs> I appreciate a follow up, but mm. at what point does it annoy the crap out of you? Oh, uh, like I'd like if say... someone calls and says, "Hey, I'm calling to check on an application," or Usually it's an application, not an interview. Like, I'm calling to see – I'm calling to check on an application. Like, okay. Just making sure you got the yeah, application. right? Like, yeah, we and got it. Did you mm-hmm. look it over? At it's what like, point does it become a nuisance? I think, like, the third call is where you're like, yeah, we went a different direction. Yeah, like, like we haven't called you back. There's probably a reason for that. I appreciate the call. Like, kind of like a, someone that we worked with at said location – he called the kitchen manager three times a day and eventually hired him as the dishwasher morning time. <laughs> <laughs> and Kurt just did it because he was like, I was so tired of him calling every single day, three times a day. Oh, well. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm sorry. So, like, I mean, okay, going back to, like, the, <clears throat> the hiring process, though, like, how long do you give someone... To figure shit out. Oh, see, all right. So you have ninety days to let someone go without. No, actually, there's right. also there's Very also an hour 90, limit 90 in there as well. Evaluation. You have ninety days to figure out if they're worth their worth their you know stay. But you can tell but within about probably, a week. I would say a week to two for sure. Yeah, depending on how often they work. Yep. Like if you're there for two weeks and you can't hack it, you're yeah. gone. Like. If if you if you're still looking at the menu on like what goes with chicken fingers, like we have a fucking issue. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, oh, what, I know what's somebody the like that. Huh? So like, you think it's like a bad idea or a good idea to like let someone work throughout their shift and then be like, yeah, so you're done. Like, yeah, definitely work through the shift. Ooh, I'd say that depends on performance. Yeah. I, yes, I was going. Thank you. Because <clears throat> like, I, I don't know if that's like an asshole move. Like it is. Oh, th- thanks for working the shift. Bye. But you got Bye. your business covered. <laughs> I fired yeah, people. Yeah. His performance. I fired people at the end of the shift. Correct. I fired people in the middle of the shift, and I have fired people before they even clocked like, in. Like, you hey, can, you, you can turn around and go home. Don't even worry you about can, it. You can be the biggest asshole, but you get your job done and you show up on time. I'm gonna fire you after your shift. Yeah. You're gonna be an asshole to me. I'll be an asshole to you. But you're gonna get your shift done. I mean, yeah, you get paid for it, but at least my business didn't fall, and I'm down. We, we had we had the shift covered. <laughs> yeah. I already have your shift covered well, tomorrow. Don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah. Mm, you're good. I, I'm going off a shop perspective. I'm sorry, it was different different than the restaurant, but yeah, we're I mean, very limited on crew. So it's when still it comes down to similar, one person, it, and they're gone, it's like, oh shit. Um, are we gonna hire somebody, right. or are we just gonna deal with this shit? <clears throat> I have a feeling if you let someone work through that shift. You're already in the office looking at applications. You're already doing all this type of stuff like that. And it's like, all right, uh, so, bye. Yeah. <laughs> Tomorrow you're going to interview someone else. Like, you're not going to tell them that, but <laughs> okay, but, but, bye. Yeah, it's like, I, I've already had a guy waiting for this spot for, like, a month. And uh, we were just waiting for you to leave, so. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about your luck, like bro. <laughs> a lot of that is situational. Like, I've had people that drank at the bar at the restaurant before their shift and it's like well don't you're not that. yeah well, first how do they get like, away how, with it all right they didn't oh <laughs> yeah that's that's how okay. they didn't it's like you come out there and try, start checking tables and then I, you come out at four it's fucking three what are you doing i was having beer before every shift I, yeah no yeah. see you later what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> that happened so at a certain mu- smokehouse. Pretty much what you're saying is, yep. I I don't know if you remember that, but basically they came in and day drank from like twelve to about four, went home, changed clothes, and came back. And I was like, I don't know why you even bothered. I just figured you would quit. Like, why? <laughs> why are you here? And he's like, Well, I'm here for my shift. Like, you've been drinking for four hours. You think you're gonna come back here and cook? Get out of here. I'm sure there's like an OSHA regulation or something, right? Like, I mean, I get it. You can't, you can't serve intoxicated, but I don't want you in my kitchen intoxicated either. Like, we have, have sharp and hot things back here, <laughs> really sharp and really hot things. I need eight pizzas. We got wet Go. Uh, yeah. 
Would you carry on to a next topic or? Yeah, I, got I think so. Okay. Uh, that was fun. <laughs> 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 All right. So, um, this is a good one. What in your mind is the most American iconic sandwich? Ooh. BLT. Ah, I take that back. The most American iconic sandwich. I know where I'm at because I wrote down the topic. So, I'm going to go with a club. Club sandwich? Why? I don't know, honestly. <clears throat> Just seems like it to me. I would have to go with the grilled cheese. Oh, that's good. But that's not, I mean. A lot of people lacked all... having He did say American, and... uh, which is where I'm, I'm torn on, like, I don't even know if a club is American, but. I don't know. You know that you I'm, know that club sure is grilled chicken cheese lettuce is under bacon. Ah, uh, whatever. I'm <laughs> definitely I mean, more of a turkey fan these days. You know, turkey clubs where I'm at. But grilled cheese is simple, cheap, easy to make, and you can make it many of different ways. Yeah, croque monsieur is French, and that is basically the birth of the grilled cheese. Which is no why I'm like, way. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> can, can you say that one more time? Croque monsieur. Okay. <laughs> and I will go ahead and say it's like a ham and grilled ham and cheese. And I will go ahead and say the and motherfucking I'm, hamburger. Oh, uh, you know, grilled ham and cheese. <laughs> you have an argument on that too. I don't even know if I can argue that. That's Hamburg, Germany. That's true, but it's not necessary in America. Yeah. But at the same let's, time, let's we Americanize the shit out of it. So. These days, that is we Americanize the shit true. out of everything. We Americanize any, the shit any out food of that has ever been on the east side of the world. Has been Americanized by us. Oh, hey, pizza, Italian. Nope, American. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. America. Well, I mean, you get into deep dish and shit, that's definitely American, but. <laughs> true, true. But no Amer- no, no pizza here is, I mean, no, I don't want to say no pizza here is made with actual Italian shit, but, like, it's not made in the homeland of Itali- in, in in Italy. Italia. Homeland of Italia? <laughs> in Italy. Gotta love homeland that Italian. Italia. Right? <laughs> the, the Italianos. But, um. I don't know. It's just a whole different way of making the pizza over there. All right. I, I haven't had it, but I've seen it done but, over there just by video and shit. But, I mean, it, it's a whole different way of making pizza, and their personality of the pizza is totally different than what we have right, right Since here. you came up with this topic, I want to know. Well, I want to go. I want to hear your rebuttal about the ha- uh, Hamburg thing. Well, <laughs> he already did. Hamburg, Germany. Oh, oh just the, yeah, the, 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 the okay. Hamburg steak is from Hamburg, Germany. I, I want to know what you think. I, I truly American. believe that I have come up with the most American sandwich ever. And uh, was it Cubano? <laughs> <laughs> In New Jersey. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> so, so okay. The most the most American sandwich I truly believe is the Philly, for the simple fact that it is called a Philly. It was <laughs> made in Philadelphia, the birthplace of America. Where they signed the Declaration of Independence. So, all right, Mister, I'm going to research shit. I didn't research it. I, this is actually I mean, that's this, a fair point. I this mean, actually uh, happened. You don't got to research the Declaration of Independence being signed in Philadelphia, <laughs> this bro. Is, this is what <laughs> this is what happened. Knowledge. This is how this topic actually came up. So, was it during Philly Day? No, no, no. <laughs> this is actually like like this week. It actually happened to me, and like I just looked like, and I know I had the what the fuck look on my face because the server actually looked at me. And I could see it in her face that my face was what the fuck. <laughs> because someone ordered a Philly and they added lettuce and tomato. I think that's wrong. It's not a Philly anymore. Exactly. Say what? <laughs> they ordered <laughs> lettuce and tomato to a I Philly. heard you. I heard you. <laughs> no, a hoagie? So, I, I heard your blasphemy, but. <laughs> it's a sub or a hoagie. This is it's not a Philly. So I was like, I was like, who the hell does that? Like, I'm in Expo because the cook missed it. Did not put lettuce and tomato on it. Well, in the server, him, he was probably like, "Nah, fuck that." <laughs> <laughs> fuck, you do that, damn. That's a condiment. You do that shit yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, "Well, who the fuck does that?" Because the server is like, "There's no lettuce and tomato on my Philly." I was like, "Well, you know, it's a Philly cook. Uh, <laughs> you know, I need you to add lettuce and tomato." This. He's like, "Okay," and I was like, "Who the fuck does that?" And she's like, "I don't know, Americans." And I just turn around, <laughs> and I was like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" She's like. Americans do stuff like that. And it's like, is a Philly is made, it's in Philly, which is in America. Are you like, trying to be racist right now? <laughs> like, I was like, this I is a little offensive. I was like, it is are, literally are, are, the birthplace of America. Are like, you trying to be a treason? Was the server from America? 
Yes. Be, be in treason, yeah? Are you trying to be a treason? Is that what you I said be in treason. Oh. <laughs> so you trying, trying to be, be a treason? treason? Just wondering, <laughs> do, 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 do any of us know who who actually made the first Philly? I'm not going to lie. I just looked it up, but do uh, do any of us know? We, we love Google. Mm-hmm. Hold on. I'm trying to remember the name of this. There's two spots in Philadelphia that claim that they started it. And no, I can't remember either one. It's like one like, starts with like Geno's or some shit like that. Am I close? Well, name wise, like just like a- the actual person, oh. like this is like nope, got nothing. <laughs> Bobby, <Right>. well, <laughs> John. According to uh, Google, for Philadelphia and the the Philly cheesesteak, it says uh, official. According to Philadelphia's official tourism site, Pat Oliveri invented the cheesesteak in the 1930s. Oliveri was a hot dog vendor in South Philadelphia. Who, Born as the story goes, decided to grill some beef from the butcher and put it on an Italian roll. A cab driver caught a whiff and asked for a steak sandwich rather than a hot dog. Okay. And actually... And that's how the Philly cheesesteak was born. That's on a hot kinda, dog cart. It's really interesting. <laughs> actually, <laughs> it's on wanna, an Italian roll mm-hmm. as well. Now that I just remembered it, because once you said that whole thing, I started remembering about this one story I heard about this other sandwich that is American-made. But no one would think it would be. Dun, dun, let's let's dun. roll the dice and see what you got. Reuben sandwich. <laughs> a what? Reuben. Uh, I'm definitely uh, not going to go American on that one. Uh, it's corned beef, not yeah. even American. It's American. It's what? It's <clears throat> like New York? Omaha. Om- Omaha, really? Really? Uh, Omaha, Nebraska. Like, I just looked it up because I remember I uh, saw the, uh, like, some on uh, Facebook. It was, like, from, like, Tasty oh, or something like that. Well, that's yeah, really yeah, yeah, it. Ta- it was Casey on Facebook. Like it has to be true. <laughs> no, okay, let me see. No, I mean, read it, dude. What does it say? So the family lore goes Elizabeth Wheels, I guess, whatever. Uh, grandfather conceived the iconic sandwich in Omaha, Nebraska in the 1920s, but history is a hot mess on rye with a side order of country theories and accusations. So everyone thinks it was made from there. But it was founded. A hot mess on rye. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, it that was. Sounds like the perfect name for a sandwich. Yeah, <laughs> it does look like a hot mess on rye. Like there, there's no clean way to eat that. Like it's, it's gonna fall delicious. apart. But it, but it's fucking amazing. <laughs> so I mean, once you start t- saying the whole thing about the sandwich, I was like, oh, I remember that now. Like I had no idea. Yeah, no clue. I remember it was like apparently like the Reuben sandwich has so many different. Areas. Origins or variations. It's like, oh, this is made in New York because of all the oh, okay. uh, deli, deli places. Delicatessence. Delicatessence. <laughs> or it was like Philly because that was where more, more sandwiches being made and stuff like that. But apparently it was made in Omaha, Nebraska because the dude just like fucking corned beef. <laughs> well, yeah, so, it makes sense because it's a big beef town. Yeah. It's something that just got brought to my attention by what you said. Not that it really goes along with being Irish, but just like a different, um, I guess ethnicity. I forgot what what you actually said, but anyways, the, going with the Philly. When did the Philly turn in, or how did the Philly turn into the Irish Philly? What are you and talking who, about? Like, at, like, at, at, like at, I mean, I get like, I, like, I, like, I, like at I the got, job because they poured no, beer, no, they poured I'm, I'm just talking on it, and they well, like, and added vegetables. It, and, it, and, no, I mean, the Philly has onions on it. Yeah, not peppers. Though. Still a vegetable. Yeah. yeah, true, true. I mean, I mean, Philly I'm, I'm does do wit or without, not with wit, wit, they, wit or without. I'm just saying, like, wit to whiz. Who was the Irishman who decided the? Uh, no the, one. They, they dumped beer cheese on it instead of American or provolone, and they called it an Irish Philly and an Irish restaurant. I don't know, man. You got the Google machine. So, so it was just American. <laughs> <laughs> so it was just another Americanized item on a menu. I want to bring yeah, up a sandwich. Yeah, you know, Americanized and, uh, with it making it foreign. <laughs> I, I we had bring foreign up a, I w- people coming over. I want to bring up a sandwich. So it I'm makes sure sense for an Irish man to be like, oh, this is something that we had similar over in the homeland. Let's do it here. I doubt it. I don't. That's how <laughs> a lot of our food was made and created. Not from Ireland, dude. They, not how many not from Ireland, Ireland solely, but from people coming over from different countries and coming here and settling. I mean, I'm sure there's a. That's how all of our food was like, reinvented. None of our food is our food. <laughs> Re- oh yeah, except maybe, for maybe like Philly. potatoes and carrots, <laughs> yeah. and apparently a Reuben too. <laughs> all right, so how about a PB and J? Ooh, that's good. 
That's good. That has to be American. I feel like that has to be. I don't know if it is no, or not, because, but I feel like that has to be. Because like, wouldn't that fall like under like the George Washington Carver fucking peanut theory? I mean, he yeah, didn't make I peanut butter, right? Like, out of my ass, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that has to be. Yes, I did say George Washington Wasn't it uh, Jimmy? No. There's something Jiffy. <laughs> no. <laughs> Which the peanut Jeff. man. The peanut man. The peanut man? I didn't, the guy that made peanut yeah. butter? Yeah. George Washington Carver? Uh, I, d- I didn't know it was actually... Yeah, that's, that's his right. name. I, mean, I don't know if he specifically made peanut butter. I know he, he like, did peanuts. He, like, like farmed th- peanuts. Yeah, he shit. was doing... He did, like, fucking 900 things with peanuts. I'm, the producer I'm 90% sure that. that's the guy that came up with peanut butter, but I feel like a PB&J's got to be pretty American. I, th- I, I could agree. I, I... What about... The producer said, what about a sloppy joe? Ooh. Does anyone know the origin of a sloppy joe? Because I have no clue. Manwich? Yeah. <laughs> like, Billy the, Madison? Is that the is that the origin of a of a Philly? Listen to me, of a sloppy Joe. That's worth googling. Okay, so the origin of a sloppy <laughs> Joe, and then you have the all right. So who's googling George Washington Carver right now? Is that you, Chase? No, no, you're not. I just want to know who made peanut butter. Origin you? of sloppy Joe is definitely the U.S. Okay, where? Uh, I'm getting more details right now. We should just make a restaurant. And just look up every American made sandwich ever. Just call like, them American sandwiches? Yeah, and it's like, uh, Aruba's not American made. Bitch, Omaha. <laughs> Sioux City, like- Iowa. Oh, really? Sloppy Joe, Sioux City, Iowa. Made by a guy named Joe. I it. Ironic, <laughs> right? I was- Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> what, what? Like his name was Peter. <laughs> was he sloppy? <laughs> it's like, Apparently, dude, he you're- just you're- added tomato sauce to loose meat. Sandwiches. And that's how I mean, that sounds great. It is very sloppy kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm assuming loose it's sloppy because it's loose meat, but <laughs> either way. I mean, was the loose meat always ground beef? It, it just it literally says in quotations, loose meat sandwiches. 1930, a cook named Joe added tomato sauce to his loose meat sandwiches. What if we made a sloppy Joe with, like, ground pork? I mean, I'm willing to try it. <laughs> that doesn't sound bad <laughs> yeah now i'm like why why i mean because why is it gonna be the, ground the beef, producer right? makes it with ground turkey yeah so uh irish philly is just a bullshit american name that we <laughs> yeah <made>. yeah <laughs> in case you guys Who's forgot the irish that man made up the <laughs> nobody <laughs> That's just some bullshit. So Googled and it finds <laughs> shit. That's called salesmanship. Yeah, you that's... ever had a Philly? I got the Irish Philly right here. <laughs> the only thing it said was Oliveri made a Philly cheesesteak in the 1930s. <laughs> <laughs> what other what other good American sandwiches <laughs> we got out there? I mean, like I still think the BLT is probably pretty American. Bacon, lettuce, tomato, yeah. nothing crazy, but it's still I, like I, I'm, I'm just looking up American sandwiches right now. I'm all there. about the the B E L T. Bacon egg, egg, lettuce, tomato. Chow mein sandwich. I don't feel like that's very American, but... I don't yeah. feel like that's a sandwich. Just hearing chow mein, I'm like, there's, huh? the, there's the picture. Wait, no. They put chow... Yeah, they yeah, put chow yeah, mein yeah. between yeah. a Kaiser bun. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> we, we, <laughs> yeah I... <laughs> point taken. <laughs> the you Philly's have, not American yeah. enough. Let's hey, fucking... Hey, I, let's it, fuck it, it up it and make it... It sounded good. It uh, sounded uh, good. Another very American sandwich is the Dagwood sandwich. Basically a club, but that, isn't that based it's off of the comic strip Blondie? Tall, multi-layered sandwich made with a variety of meats and cheese and condiments. Bow, bow dropping bombs, and it's like fucking fifteen layers of a sandwich. It's like, yep, yeah, that's American. <laughs> yeah. You can't. When you get past anything. three layers of anything, that's American. <laughs> like you're on the fourth layer. Oh, Americans made no that shit. No one's stupid enough to do that. What about a uh, fluffer nutter? No, uh, is that peanut that's, butter and fucking marshmallow fluff? That's yeah. definitely American. That I don't. Is fluff American? The marshmallow. I have no idea if marshmallow fluff but is American, it, but I, I could definitely. It had to be it. created by an American. I love it. <laughs> French dip is an American. Oh sandwich. yeah, hell yeah, that is. I knew. I that know one. that, but French dip. Really? <laughs> well, come on, you got to name it something, right? I call it the dip. Oh. Well, it's on a French. <laughs> <laughs> French baguette bun, right? Yeah, yeah it's because you what dip it. You, you don't want your bread getting soggy. Like it's got to be juicy, um, but a uh, hot brown. That's Kentucky. Well, that's not the name of the food. It's that's the Kentucky name of the, with it's like, on, it's like the brown gravy it's on French toast. It's, it's, a, it's like a it's a beef yeah. yeah. Consider turkey bacon and Mornay sauce. Yeah, the Mornay's. Yeah, 
Juicy Lucy. More nays. Cheeseburger with cheese inside, inside the patty. Yeah. <laughs> Minneapolis is Juicy Lucy, right? Oh, she pulled out Minneapolis on the Juicy Lucy. Is she correct? Lobster oh, roll. Shit. Well, well. Juicy Lucy. She said Minneapolis. Minneapolis on the Juicy Lucy. Is that correct? Let me get to it. Cut, cut, cut. Hey, Junior. Yep, Minneapolis. Good job. Killing it, producer. All right, so then you said what was the next one? Yeah, I, that's that's probably yeah. pretty American. Maybe what? a specific okay, corner fast. of America, like, but it, like, when, where does New England stop from Maine to like Massachusetts? That's that's <laughs> a really good question. <laughs> like, like because New York is not part of New England, right? I okay. Does anyone know the Luther Burger? Damn. No, what? do, do not know the Luther Burger. Luther Burger. No. Hamburger or cheeseburger served between two glazed donuts. Uh, that's American. Oh, that's, that's definitely <laughs> American, but... Uh, see, I haven't had this, and I don't plan on it, because I'm also not a fan of brioche, and I think we've already covered that, and I feel <laughs> like that glazed donut yeah. is just going to be a brioche. Apparently, you're right. Peanut butter and jelly is American. <laughs> yeah, I'm not surprised by that at all. Peanut butter and banana and bacon sandwich. Elvis. Peanut butter not and banana is either. amazing. I haven't had the bacon on there, but peanut butter and banana? Bacon with anything is better. The, the pilgrim? So good. Turkey, mashed potatoes, cranberry. Yep. It's And cheddar cheese. Pretty much the gobbler from Wawa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Turkey but, stuffing, cranberry, and gravy. Paul boy, we all know On a toasted roll. What do you mean? Yeah, what is that? Because <laughs> yeah, you don't know New Orleans. Wait, you want to read on that one a little more? <laughs> <laughs> it's a ro- it says roast beef or fried seafood served on a baguette. Kind of thrown off by the roast beef thing, but uh, roast beef. Oh, yeah, don't mean well, that's, that's because New Orleans has definitely killed it on the po' boy game, and that's seafood all the way. Yeah, yeah but the roast beef po' boy is like the most popular one. Didn't they create the, uh, po- the po' boy? Yeah, yeah. The roast beef one is definitely the most popular. What about a sailor sandwich? All about the bread. Nyland's all about the <laughs> sailor. The sailor. Hold on, corned beef with sausage. No, it's corned beef with a slight, it's like a sausage link. I think it's... Hot rot. pastrami, grilled knotwurst, melted Swiss cheese, and hot mustard on rye bread. That was close, man. <laughs> Dude, I want a sandwich now. <laughs> I'll wreck a sailor. I mean, I, 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 that sounds bad. You can just... You, yeah. <laughs> All right, what's the well, next topic? Because I can though. see Dooley's phone, and he's still going to be scrolling for like sailor. 20 minutes. Yeah, so... so like, <laughs> American oh, yeah. sandwiches for well, days. Hey, wait, we went into a good topic about American sandwiches. I Nothing mean, wrong with American sandwiches. We obviously have quite a few, which oh, yeah. is, I guess, Dude, I mean, we're a big country. Light. We better have something. Like, <laughs> mm. like, with nothing else, we got sandwiches. We're going to start going sandwiches by state. <laughs> what the hell did Virginia come up with for sandwiches? Like, come on, bro. Uh, but the maybe, 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 yeah, I was going to say something yeah. Virginia well, pit sorry, ham sandwich. Yeah. Like. Yeah. Hot uh, ham and cheese. That, sorry. that ham and mustard. The fact that we're all debating <laughs> it, though, clearly there's no, like, clear cut, oh, Virginia came up with that. It's not yeah, like the yeah, Philly yeah, where yeah. it's like, yeah, Philly cheesesteak, bitches. Like, no, True. it's like, maybe maybe, like maybe a, a ham sandwich. A <laughs> sandwich. <laughs> right? You know what I mean? Like, mm, that, uh, what is it? What the hell's the name of that little ass town that has, like, all the speeding traps when you're coming? Oh, Emporia? Yeah, like, mm, oh, that dude, Emporia that sandwich. Place. Mm-mm. That thing's good. No one goes to eat there. It's, like, a mile over. You get a ticket. What are you talking about? <laughs> you you everyone, avoid that everyone place except go, you can't. You already got as, my money. As you they were they just say, saying, fuck the gas. We're going around, Emporia. As you were just saying about the whole every state, I just found a website that said 50 states, 50 sandwiches. <laughs> I'm not going to go through the whole Next list. Next topic, please. Well, find, yeah. find Virginia real fast because I want to know now. Like, you brought it up. Now I need to know. I know. Did you know that Hampton Rosen created the white sauce at the Mexican restaurant? I did, yeah, not. I did not. know Yes, that, that is a Hampton Rose original. The white sauce at the. I don't even think they have that anywhere else. I mean, but, that's damn pretty dope. But now I'm disappointed in almost every Mexican restaurant that has it. <laughs> like you're it's, not it's, Mexican. It's miracle. You're not yeah. true to your <laughs> roots. Okay, there's no way any of y'all are going to guess this at all whatsoever. So I'm just going to tell you, the Virginia sandwich is the Alamo. Cuban sandwich. So hold on. First off, fuck this shit. The Alamo Cuban. <laughs> Neither one what? of those are Virginia. I see you know right there. I see it. I'm just saying like <laughs> Cuban is not even in the country and Alamo is in Texas. How the fuck did Virginia end up with the Alamo Cuban sandwich? Alamo barbecue, a tiny barbecue shack in Richmond is legit and adventurous. They're Alamo Cuban made with pork links, pork links or chicken. Um is pressed with mustard, sriracha, onions, pickles, and jalapeno. Is the perfect combination for juicy barbecue pulled chicken with a tangy pickle kick. 
Fuck the, that. I've never had. I want to get a shot now. I'm so disappointed. Sounds good, <laughs> but I'm still fuck that. Like, I mean, wa- Washington is a salmon sandwich from Market Grill. Are we talking like, about D.C. or state? State. Uh, yeah, and you're going salmon. I would assume it was Washington. I, for, hey, for, yeah. for some reason, I thought D.C. for a second. I was like, because it's close. Them? All right, next topic. <laughs> next All I'm topic. saying real fast is that, so what you're saying is the door is wide open for us to create the... Uh, the next Virginian the, sandwich? The Virginia sandwich. We All have right. some work to do. <laughs> Twelve layers it is. Let's go. <laughs> like All the barbecue <laughs> on one sandwich. Meat cake sandwich. Yeah, yeah pork butt, like, okay. pork shoulder, bacon, fucking other pork shit. Like, I feel like we could make the pork belly sandwich popular. Oh yeah, like, supposedly Virginia is known for nine sandwiches. No, no, stay on this for a second. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got? <laughs> yeah, how's that working out for you? Not well. <laughs> so the first one is. The ham sandwich from Smithfield Gourmet Bakery and Cafe. Not North. really surprising there. Yeah. yeah. All right. Why is my phone not scrolling up? Because it's not an iPhone. No. <laughs> Shots fired, Julie. <laughs> Boom. Pew, 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 pew. Asshole. <laughs> I love you. Is it scrolling yet? Because it's I not an iPhone. I had to reload it. All right. There we go. Tony's better than Ham is one of the most famous foods for from our beautiful state, and for an unbeatable ham sandwich, you'll want to go straight to the source. Smithfield considered blah 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 blah. Yeah, we don't care yeah, about yeah, all that. What's the, the second sandwich? sandwich? Second sandwich is the chicken salad sandwich, Union Market, Richmond. Okay, so these are just popular sandwiches in yeah. Virginia. It's yes. not necessarily like what Virginia is known for. But I mean, essentially, I mean that the sandwich that Virginia is known for. I mean, fucking ham. We live in Virginia. Ham and chicken salad. Well, this sucks. <laughs> Pretty much. Pulled pork Where's sandwich. The, oh, Jake's there you barbecue, go. Which Where's is the pork? Kinda gay, cause Jake's barbecue kind of sucks to me. But um, you got the biscuit sandwich. <coughs> the biscuit sandwich? Yeah, what is that, like bread on bread four? on bread? On bread? Like, I don't know. The picture looks pretty nuts. Is it just like a sandwich on a biscuit? Some, I, it's going to be something from the damn ham some biscuit. Ordinary <laughs> homemade biscuit. Yeah, I'm waiting for it, like, it's like a biscuit in a biscuit. Oh, so it's bread on bread on bread. Come on, on bread. down and get your biscuit biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking weird. Can you put some gravy gravy on that? <laughs> and we got the crab cake sandwich. Put some sandwich. sausage sausage. <laughs> <laughs> the crab cake sandwich. Okay, All right. Okay, Chesapeake Bay. Yeah, it's, that hey, makes sense. Grilled cheese sandwich. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's We're a good thing or not. Like, <laughs> like, this sucks, man. Like, there's not a decent sandwich on this list. Roast beef sandwich. It's just basic, like... So we yeah. need to come up with Virginia's pimento best cheese sandwich. sandwich. We need to come up with the uh, yeah. grilled cheese sandwich. <laughs> yeah, like Georgia. Yeah. I mean, you know, I'm topic out, guys. I think. As I said, can we the next topic? I, I mean, think I mean, I'm like I'm. I got I got some stories. Yeah. I don't really have topics. I mean, I'm down with stories. Like, I mean, because they don't often spin into full on topics. <laughs> so. All right, uh, I got a good one. All right. Oh, that's actually okay. Okay. I think we covered that already. My bad. Um, all right, so th- I, I'm just going to tell the story real fast because it's fucking hilarious to me. That's a better explanation. Wait, uh, uh, oh. Oh, yeah, it's the sailor. Is that what you're looking at? Yeah, I, I guess. Yeah. It's the same. Your screen brightness is so low. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was off. I was like, how the fuck did you even see thing? <laughs> Pretty much that's what we're known for is the sailor. The sailor? Well, it makes sense. Big-ass Navy station. All right. So I'm just going to tell you this story because I uh, I used to do a lot of travel cooking like uh, for one company. Uh, sorry. I was uh, traveling around to different, to different locations, um, doing things. Uh, stuffing things. Yeah, things you know. And stuff. <laughs> things and stuff. Stuffing things. And so then um, – one day, like, I was supposed to go to a location, and they called me and said, all right, uh, we need you to go to a different location because the uh, kitchen manager had quit. And I was like, okay, no problem. So I go in there, and, you know, like, I haven't been in that location in a while, so, like, I'm walking in, and I'm, like, wondering, like, what am I going to walk into? Like, if homeboy quit, like, I feel like that can't be good. <laughs> nothing's going to be good in here. It's kind of like being left with a substitute teacher. You're kind of like, what the fuck is the kitchen staff going to be going wrong right yeah, now? Yeah, substitute like, teacher can play a video. If you're the chef <laughs> filling in, you still have to cook the menu. <laughs> what in the fucking Walmart is going on in here? <laughs> like, <laughs> so, we are not sponsored by Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So I get in there and I find like I'm setting up the line and I open up everything and everything's actually stocked. Everything looks pristine and clean and like I'm super stoked. Are you serious? Yeah, it actually <laughs> like I walked in and like it was I love the doubt there by the way. Like are you serious? Yeah. Really? <laughs> like it was actually done right. Whoever did it last night was fantastic and I appreciate them. Here's a gold star. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your name is on the board with a gold star. <laughs> um so anyway, so we get rolling and um they start, you know, picking up for lunch, and it wasn't a an abnormally busy day, so like it was kind of quiet, you know, on the line. We're all, you know, we're cooking, like not a lot of chit chat, you know, because I mean I know the guys, but like we're not besties, you know what I mean? So it's like I don't. You're barely ever there. Yeah, you've like, been there, but you're barely ever there. Yeah, I don't have a, I don't have a lot to say, you know. So we're just cooking, like you know, and so um, at some point. Um, there was like a, a regional chef who was there and I was kind of like, well, why the fuck am I here? If he's here. Yeah. If, if they are here in the building, why am I doing this job? Which were they there to like spectate? I have and no fucking like idea why they were on there. How well you were doing. I don't fucking know. They were, they were in the office most of the time. Good down there just shoving his fucking finger up his ass. All <laughs> them, uh, so, like, so we're cooking. Right you know, whatever. It's like, at this point, you know, you blow it off. Like, I got to get through lunch. You know, like, let's let's handle one service at a time. And so I'm cooking. We're cooking along. Like, no issues. There's nothing coming back. Ticket times are fine. And they walk over to the line. And they yell. Just down the line. Like, I don't hear any communication. <laughs> and I was like, like I looked over and I was like, what do you want? Like everything is cooking. What do you want? Like, like there's no communication because all the tickets are fired. Like we're literally cooking burgers. Like in. So pretty much everything that was on the rail was already <laughs> down being. Yeah. So cooked. there's three of us there like, and we're all literally cooking. <laughs> There's no new tickets. Like, and it's like there might be eight tickets hanging, dude. We're not in the weeds. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's like two tops. You know, so we're cooking, and like I looked, and I was like, "Cause everything's cooking," and like they walked away, and I turned to the guys, and I was like, "Well, that was fucking awkward." <laughs> <laughs> and, like, and then they come back because <laughs> they heard me. I'm like, I don't need you to talk shit. And I was like, well, you wanted me to communicate. <laughs> this shit is this awkward. Is communicating. <laughs> like, so now we're talking and you have an issue about that too? Like, so I like. I love how, hold on though, it's not even like you were talking shit. <laughs> like, you weren't even like, ah, that was, fuck that person. Like, no, like, well, that was awkward. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you just made it more awkward by walking back. Thanks for that. <laughs> yeah, like, right. And like, so now we're all geeking out and laughing. But I mean, that's like, like, why? A, why was I fucking even there? B, I know why I was there because you didn't want to do anything. And B, I'm, <laughs> I'm here, and you want me to just be yelling the whole time? Like, I don't, first off, man, it's like, what, 11.45 in the morning? Like, it is way too damn early oh, to be yeah, yelling. fuck that. <laughs> it's like, man, like, we're barely through the first cup of coffee. Like, That's like it. Not only that. It happened today at the shop at 8 o'clock in the morning. I looked at my dude, and I was like, dude, you got to stop. Like you're you're stressing me the fuck out. <laughs> like, please. Not only that, but coming in as like a guest chef, right? Like, like I'm, I'm a fill in. Okay, I'm, like I get it. Like technically, you're man on the pole now. Like you're top man. Yeah, you're yeah. top man on the totem. But that's how it was today. At the same time, like you're still the guest chef. These guys don't necessarily respect you. Like they have some respect yeah, for I you. Mean, I knew them. Right. But I, like I don't. I'm not here every day in the trenches with you. Right. You know. So. Like they haven't seen you go through it with them yet yeah so how are you gonna be like where the fuck are my fries Julie? <laughs> like you know i mean like granted you're with somebody every day or even like a couple of days a week like you get to know them you, you know you know their timing and they know, know you yeah. like i shit this motherfucker's gonna work as hard as i am i better keep up right like sure. i i have a story about wish that i was think for possibly the same person you're talking about okay <clears throat> so it's that old location that i used to work at and it was probably... Were you on Fry for eight years? It was when I first started on brunch. He was on Dish, too. Excuse <laughs> me, by the way. Jason wants me to... <laughs> so... <laughs> so... <laughs> it's my it's like my second brunch shift. I'm over there on Fry. I really don't have much else to do. Like, it's whatever. <clears throat> so the egg 
Dude's cooking the eggs. He's doing all these other orders or anything like that. I was about to say egg cooker. I swear to God. The I'm egginator. <laughs> but he was like, hey, um, if any orders come in, like, you know how to cook brunch. Like, you're good, right? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> He's like, I gotta go take, the, take a shit. <laughs> Worst like, words ever. I was like, I was like, all right, dude, whatever. Like, just, chefs don't have assholes. No, I was like, whatever, whatever, <laughs> fuck you gotta do. I don't give a shit. So, turtle, or, turtle, or, turtle. <laughs> order comes in, and then said chef, <laughs> said chef comes around the corner, and they just, what the fuck is he at? I'm like, he went to the bathroom. He's been in there for five fucking minutes. I was like. <laughs> yeah, taking his shit. <laughs> yeah, like uh, unless it was like explosive <laughs> diarrhea, I could understand why he would be in there for more than a minute or two. <clears throat> so, Whoa, dude. So, well, he's like, got I, a hot fudge force down there. <laughs> How do you so, know that he's been in there for five minutes? Like, because she why she, are you fucking checking my bowels? I, I, I don't know how she knew. I guess she was over and stepped up the line, the timer. area over that way, so, some shit like that. But she just flips the fuck out, and then she's like, all right, are, are you good on all this? I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. I'm cooking the eggs. I'm doing all this type of shit. He comes back, and, okay, should have told you this prior. Um, when we were starting the shift, 8 o'clock in the morning, whatever, he was like, I'm in a really bad mood. Like, I just want to get through my shift and just get it over with. I'm like, all right, dude. Like, I'll, I'll have At least you. he gave you a heads up. Yeah, he he was like, "That's fair. just." I was just like, "Dude, I'll help you out wherever you want me to. Just alleviate <laughs> you a little bit." Like this is like me just now coming on Friday, and I'm like, "Oh, hey, you're gonna work Friday in the morning time too." So he goes to the bathroom, and then, and then <laughs> he comes out. He comes out of the bathroom, comes into the uh, kitchen. And <laughs> the chef at the time was like, "Where the fuck you been? At? It's been ten minutes." I was taking a shit. Can I help you? And she was like, uh, you don't need to be on my clock taking a shit. You need to be doing... I was like, whoa, where are you going? Like, you can't take a shit. Like, Seven of those sorry, let me, concentration let me, let me clock out real quick before I fucking shit my <laughs> pants. Like, <laughs> so, me already knowing that he's having a shit day, Literally? I saw him... I saw him. <laughs> <laughs> I give, I give, I give that to you. I give that to you. <laughs> but he has a glass of sweet tea in his hand. She keeps on yelling at him. Oh, now I know this. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> I see where this is going. <laughs> now I fucking remember. I'm, 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 I already know what's about to happen, so I kind of walk my happy ass down to Fry and start pretending like I'm stocking shit up. I'm going to get away and from I'm da- the And I'm down over the freezer, and I'm just poking my head over the freezer <laughs> door because I'm like, ooh, this is going to be fucking amazing. All I see is the chef right there next to the dish pit. You can't see into the prep area. But well, all they see is just a fucking wave of sweet tea. Just <laughs> <laughs> her face, her white chef, everything just covered in just sweet tea. And she was like, you get the fuck out of here. He was like, I don't give a fuck. Look how stupid you look now. <laughs> and he walked out. And then she comes on the line. I'm just dumbfounded. <laughs> and within complete silence, a ticket comes up. And she's just looking at me. And I'm like, I'll cook that. <laughs> <laughs> you, sh- you, you, sh- you should go clean up. Damn she's right, like, you will. You just got put in your place. <laughs> <laughs> like it, it was that like you know like seven cups of sugar type of thing <laughs> in the sweet tea. Like it was it was that sticky sweet tea type of shit. And <laughs> that's some yeah selling sweet tea right there. She she came back out of the out of the bathroom after she. Try clean. Yeah, ten, ten minutes. minutes. Yeah. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. She was in there for taking dump. She was in there for fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> I was so. <laughs> I was so about to like say something to her when she came back, but I saw how pissed off she was, and I was like, "Communication, Dooley." <laughs> <laughs> and she came back. She was like, "It's still just sticky on me. Like I feel it everywhere." I'm like, "Oh." I mean, you know, like, <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, okay. And I was like, I, I mean, sometimes there, there's a mop sink in the back. You want to go take a shop <laughs> shower? Hop on it. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, so sometimes shit yeah. happens. And I'm just still cooking an egg, and she's just looking at me. I'm like, anything else, chef? She's like, 
I'm gonna be in the fucking office. I'm like, okay. Like, she goes in the office. I was like, still smell like sweet tea. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I but, can smell the sugar crystals. But it was just like, just I knew he was gonna throw it anyway, and just not even being able to like, see him, <laughs> just and the, just see that just wave, wave of, of tea fucking flying tea. there. <laughs> like she's just what the? F-? <laughs> <laughs> she didn't say a single word after that. Just I, I can't believe you just fucking did that to me. Get yeah, the fuck just, out of here, bitch! I'm gone. Fuck you. <laughs> I did. I did get to watch it on camera. I wasn't there. So was the sweet tea incident intentional? Oh, yeah. He, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. He, he okay. That yeah, that's what I was getting. He, he threw but... the whole cup at her. Like, he made sure it was sweet tea and then cup. Like, <laughs> second round. <laughs> he was like, Psh, bitch, fuck you. Like, <laughs> dunk. Like, it all, no, it did hit her. Oh, wait. Too. There's more. <laughs> <laughs> like, it hit her in the head, but it wasn't like one of those hard ass fucking throws. It was like, bitch, like, I'm going to fuck. Fuck this job. Fuck you. Fuck everyone around here. He made he made sure he poked his head around the corner as she still just dumbfounded. He was like, "Let it do." I'm like, uh, "All right, brother. I'm like, oh, I'll see you in one of these days." That's not a fuck you to your face. I found out. I found out he was working as a dishwasher at Shaka's one day when I was playing a show. I went over to him. I was like, "Hey, man, what's up?" He's like, "Dooley." I'm like. I still remember that day. <laughs> he started bust out fucking laughing. But that 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 that's my story on that shit. Like that's crazy, dude. Listen. Especially throwing a, the container. the cup afterwards. Yeah. Like, just the round two. Wasn't enough. Fight. Here, yeah. it, it, insult to injury. Just <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Alex. You got anything? Oh, on that. Specific subject? I mean, uh, not necessarily. I mean, not that specific. All right. Well, I I'll bring up a new topic. How do you feel about like exiting restaurants? Have you ever been pied, antiqued? I hate that shit. Oh, what are your thoughts, you feelings? Wanna, you want to go to my last day at that <laughs> old place? Oh, we can. I <laughs> there's, mean, there's like, I remember that one, buddy. There's a video of yours. There's not a video of mine. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I've I've got quite a few of them. Trust me, I I oh. I basically volunteered for one because I knew it was coming, and just waited for it. Like I was like, everybody get your phones out, let's go. Like the first one, like you were there. Obviously, I for, know, I remember that. Yes, day. there was Kitchen chocolate Manor and apple pie. Chicken, chicken man. I'm pretty <laughs> sure. I'm pretty sure that's chicken posted manager. on our Instagram. Oh, it, I still got it on my phone right now. But <laughs> like, I'm pretty. If sure not, it will be. I'm, like I think it is, I he think. took a save a day full of whipped cream and some other shit and just right in my face and I was like, all right, cool, ha huh, y'all got me, I'm quitting, great, cool, awesome. That wasn't the, the only one. Fucking <laughs> next day, every single server and every single cook, like and bar manager and everyone else, like I had buttermilk thrown in my face and then a heaping load, like a fuck heaping save a day full of flour thrown into my face like i inhaled a lot of fucking flour i went to the back sink started to dry heave basically trying to get the fucking flour out of my mouth and then i had people going hey look an egg Fuck! <laughs> just did you feel the love oh i felt all the love <laughs> i think uh the bar back at the time like he was like do it are, are, are you okay are you okay because he I was, i'm over the sink going <laughs> And he's like, dude, you saw you're about to die. I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> and I had more shit thrown at me. And then I was like, I finally rinsed off, went to the bathroom, got all my fucking face bullshit. And they got care. pied again, if I remember correctly. <laughs> I just went in to go grab my shit out of the office. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't have my chef coat on anymore, my jacket, nothing like that. And then I go in there, grab my shit, and then out of fucking nowhere... Here's a big old <laughs> motherfucking thing of whipped cream. Yeah, when we say pie, it's not really a pie. It's more like whipped yeah. cream on a plate. And, or save it or something like that. And just then I get more fucking flour thrown in my face from the bar manager. And he's just sitting there. Just, I see his face when he does. He's like, fuck you, Dooley. And I'm like, I fucking hate all of you. I'm like, I can't wait to see y'all's fucking. And yet, I'm sure that you probably still talk and talk to and like. 90% of those people. Fuck yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's what I, you feel the love? Like, I, I don't... Okay, it sucks when you're in the moment. Like, I've definitely been pied. I've been antiqued. And I remember the smokehouse we worked at when I left. 
They tried to antique me three times in one night and missed twice. And I laughed my fucking ass off because as I was walking through the kitchen, they missed with both the water and the flour and soaked all of the dishes in flour. And I was like, well, that sucks for y'all. You got to do all the dishes on the shelf. Like, the only way they got me that night, the third time, was the assistant kitchen manager. I was the kitchen manager at the time. Grabbed me out in the parking lot and, like, bear hugged me from behind. And he was like, well, we're both getting hit. Like, he was just (laughs) like, I'm taking the hit because you're getting antiqued. And he stood there and held me while they threw water on both of us and then flowered both of us. Like, he had to work the rest of the shift. I felt kind of bad for him. I was like, well, that sucks. I got to go home. Like, I was prepared, though. I had water balloons in my car. (laughs) <laughs> I was like, I'm not going down without a fight, bro. Like, but well, I, water I balloons, thought it was water balloons full of grease. No, it was just water balloons. <laughs> but like, I knew it was coming, and I just thought it was hilarious that it was like, oh, we can play this game. But but like, they my, missed twice. But like my my last day being there, Jason Jason and producer were sitting in the bar, and I came over. They're like, you look like you just took a shower. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's drink. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> my instance, I ended up having to take a shower in the men's bathroom, <laughs> in the sink. Said, uh, said people at restaurant and plus producer that was that was working with me. I, I believe I was a barback. I was a barback, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah. We're because we're closing. I had to, I had to finish out that shift till like two o'clock in the morning with a green, purple, and white dye in my hair. But um. I believe we shut down the outside patio, and I was just going back there to stock some things up, and there was a friend, Jessica, and a friend, Aiden, and they kind of set me up for this whole conundrum. But uh, I went back there. I was told that I, they needed some beer back in there, so I was going back there and, you know, stock some, some stuff up. And I don't even know if it was... I don't think it was during my birthday month, but I think there was a party that just happened oh, in the patio. Oh, yeah. And you guys had leftover cake. <laughs> so this was actual cake. Yes. Yeah, like, it, not, it like was, you didn't get pied with whipped cream. You got hit with Yeah, no, it was, it was a full-blown oh, fucking, nice. like, cake. So beautiful. Like, from somebody's leftover it's party. Happy birthday, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the last thing he saw. Yeah. It was flying at his face. <laughs> straight up old. It had girl. nothing to do with Fuck me whatsoever. <laughs> I'm just sitting there behind the bar. I'm stocking a couple things, and I jump up, and I start having a conversation with producer Jessica and Aiden, and next thing you know, I see a, a phone just get popped up on the counter, and I'm, I'm looking over a <laughs> guy. Why, why, why? Oh shit! And why, I'm why, yeah, right. Like, why, I'm just why? like, hey, uh, why? Why are you? Are you recording? It's like that. And he's like, nah, your nah, nah, bro. Right there. He's like, like, like nah, bro. Jump fellas. the counter yeah. and dip. He's, he's like, nah, bro. I'm not recording. Why is the I was floor like, floor covered in plastic. Like, nah. You, you, <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> you definitely are recording. And uh, he was like, yeah, I, I'm just trying to, you know, get, get a layout of the of the land. I was like. What the fuck are you talking That's about? That's the bullshit like, lie ever. Yeah, <laughs> he, he, he was literally just... And apparently he, he didn't pretty, pick up on it quick enough. <laughs> he was pretty much just stalling me. And <laughs> next thing you know, out of nowhere, I believe it was producer and Jessica that had the cake itself just boom, right into the fucking face. And... uh I couldn't do nothing about it. <laughs> I mean, like, if you're on your last I mean, day and somebody pulls out a phone, the answer is just run. I don't. I don't. I don't think it was anybody's last day. That was the thing. Was he? <laughs> no. Yeah, we we were all here. like full fledged workers. Like we we're there for a good time. Well, and we're they still, had a good time. Buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Like after that moment, we were all still there for at least like a solid six to seven months <laughs> before the first man dropped. Oh, uh, see, normally it's like somebody's leaving, but either way, all right. Maybe so even note a yourself. year. That's if you see a phone at work, just run. Yeah. It's like I'm recording you. Why? Oh fuck! Just straight up. See, I, I was I was kind of <laughs> blocked though. You, you know, you know that that I know that what patio you're bar, oh. like that that little corner area. If yeah. you're behind the bar, you're blocked. Uh, and I, I would have jumped had, the bar and ran. I had all three right there. And I, I I didn't want to jump the bar. I would have jumped. We, the bar we just and shut ran. down. I just cleaned the bar. No, I, I still would have jumped. I the mean, bar. yeah, I get it, but and I and I also wasn't guess, thinking that they were just going to throw a fucking cake in my face. Clean the bar. So right after I get caked, I go into the bathroom, and you, you guys know the the place. Yeah, the layout. So having to go through the patio and then coming out, you're facing another area of people, and then pretty much a, a full bar. 
bar of people. And then you have to go to the bathroom. Like, you got to make it like a slight U turn. So everybody in the bar and the floor see me. And then I go into the bathroom, and then a guy walks in as I'm head deep into the sink, just <laughs> washing shit out, and it's blue and green and purple and pink and whatever fucking other kind of flavors or <laughs> colors they had in there. That purple. And mm, it was that's just delicious. Running through into the sink, and dude just looked over and was like, so did you have a good time? <laughs> and I looked at him, I was like, honestly, no. <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but uh, I, shirt tells that I work here. And uh, my my employees just caked the fuck out of me, and he was like, "Oh shit, yeah, that sucks, dude." I <laughs> uh, hope <laughs> hope you have a good night. <laughs> I thought you were my friend. This was at like ten thirty, eleven o'clock at night. So you still had I like still three had hours to, r- to go. I still had to write it out till two thirty. <laughs> Side note: my red chef coat is still fucked. <laughs> <laughs> like. I still have the pictures on my phone right now, and it's, just, it's still fucked with everything that was from the night. See, I don't even bother with the sink, though. I've been pied so many times. I just go straight to the mop sink, pull out the hose, and I'm like, well, fuck it. Yeah, like, I went to the closest place possible with the water. Oh, I do. <laughs> as there was no water. What are you talking about? There's a my, sink at the bar. You were at. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is very true. And but no one, at that, no at that moment, I panicked because I thought they were going to get me again. <laughs> like, there was just cake laying I'm around. I'm trapped here because you're not trapped in they, the They already caked me, and there's cake laying around. Did the you one. have to clean the cake up? No. Okay, I was just saying, no, that's not maybe, fair. Uh, if you get caked, you shouldn't have to clean I, up your own cake. I, I, I don't remember if I did either. The whole thing with, like, all that shit shoveled in my face and everything, like the flour, the fucking buttermilk. Like, the I have fucking, a feeling I did clean All this up. other shit. <laughs> like, I had so much cake down my face. Like, it wasn't dripping off. It was just stuck. It no, was but stuck. with the beard that you have, it was just, yeah. It, you you had guess dude, what the fuck I did. You every had a Gandalf beard, came, bro. Every, every time someone came, ah, ha, 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 I was like... <laughs> yeah, like, and scraping what? it off and throwing oh, it. A little snowball off your beard. Oh, oh, I started. You gave me this ammo, <laughs> motherfuckers. Like, I started tossing this shit. I was like, today's my last day. Guess what? I'm smeared, not cleaning it. I smeared some of that shit off the on the ice machine, the lid of it. I was like, I don't give a fuck. That's not my business today. I would have walked up to the first person that actually did everything and just scraped off a big old chunk and just. Oh, no. I, 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 <laughs> I, I, I hit the bar manager with. All this shit that was right here. I was like, there's a flower, the bottom of it just feels weird. Big old in congealed your fucking... clumps yeah. of nastiness. And then he came around, he was going to hit me again, and I went, Fah! That shit probably <laughs> scratched his face, too. Like God. lumps of sand. It was funny as shit because he was like, oh, what? <laughs> I still got to go to the bar and serve people. I'm like, well, Sucks guess what? to be you! I was like, guess who you're serving in about next 10 minutes, <laughs> motherfucker? <laughs> And he was like, oh, yeah, I forgot you are. This is your last day. I'm like, yep, go ahead, give me a beer and a shot, and I'm good to go. Let's <laughs> yeah, but you also got to think, he's serving you the beer and shit. You can do whatever he wants. You might, you might want to rethink that. <laughs> Why would I rethink it now? <laughs> well, not now. Too not late. now. I'm just saying Too in that late. moment. It already you know what I mean? Oh, dude, I didn't give a shit. I was like, uh, you're going to be walking around with some shit all over your legs. Like, he had flour and buttermilk all on his fucking... It's like, bitch, you still got another seven hours to go. I, I like, hope you chafe. And I was like, <laughs> ooh, you, you have another seven hours. Guess how many I got? None. <laughs> I got about Guess seven what minutes you to look get at? this shit Me. off my face. <laughs> all right, well, I think... Uh, Jason, you got one? No, man, I think that's no, it. No, I think that'll about wrap up this podcast. Thanks for listening, guys. We appreciate your... Uh, and now you're, no, you didn't, you didn't want to do that. Yeah, we appreciate you. Uh, Too so soon, Juju. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook at Team Fat Kid. Don't forget to check us out on Twitter at Team Fat Kid One. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram at Team Fat Kid Nation. Last but not least, YouTube. That's Team Fat Kid. And don't forget that we are available on pretty much every podcast that you can possibly think of. Podcast app. Well, so please listen to us on your favorite. No, fuck that. Device. We're on every podcast. Screw that. Uh, yeah, we're so on everybody's <laughs> podcast. That team fat kid choose the fat. We appreciate you guys, and we'll catch you on Monday. Remember, click the thumbs up, like, and share, subscribe, all that good stuff. We always enjoy it. Thank you guys very much. Have a good evening. Team fat kid. Oh.